So, what is going on YouTube, this is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here, and today guys, I'm coming at you with the most highly requested deck profile of 2017. A lot of you guys have been asking me for a deck profile ever since the new Predator Plan archetype was been released in the TCG, especially out of Fusion Enforcers, and I'm sorry guys, that it took me a while to give you guys a deck list of this deck. It was because I was actually waiting for Maximum Crisis to be released, and you know, Scorpio and Cobra just completes the deck okay and this predator plan deck i believe is one of the more competitive builds than the regular predator plan deck i'll explain to you guys all my card choices as i progress to the deck profile and there are some amazing one card combos that you can do with this deck and it's about to blow your mind so if you guys just smash this video with a thousand plus likes that'll be absolutely amazing and i will suggest you guys listening to all my card choices as i progress to the deck profile don't skip through the deck just listen and hear my explanations on some of the reasons why i play some of the cards but nonetheless guys this deck is very fun to play and it's i believe I believe it's different from your standard uh, predator plant uh, norm that you guys would see online. I do still have some dino mats still available for, for sale. The mats are still selling out very quickly. I have a couple left, so if you guys are interested in purchasing a dinosaur play mat, make sure you guys check it out. I'll leave a link to, uh, to my Facebook page in the description box below, and it's through PayPal only. So if you guys are interested in supporting the team, make sure you guys pick up one of these amazing dinosaur play mats. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's just start with this deck profile. Starting with the monsters, you guys want to play Triple Predator Plant Orphis Scorpio. This card, you know, without a doubt, it's the best monster in the deck. I do not even understand why Konami made a card like this. This card is absolutely busted. This card is broken. And you guys, you guys don't know his effect. His effect reads that if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special one Predator Plant monster for your deck, except for Predator Plant Orphis Scorpio. You can only use this effect of Predator Plant Orphis Scorpio once per turn. Okay, so this card is an easy rank 3 play, and it's also a one card uh, Predator Plant uh, Chimera Flesia. To accompany uh, the Orphis uh, Scorpio is you want to play the Predator Plant Darling uh, Tonia Cobra. This card is also very powerful, and it's only a one-off in the deck because uh, if this card is uh, special summoned by the effect of a Predator Plant monster, you can add one Polymerization spell card or a Fusion spell card from your deck to your hand you only use this effect of predator plan darling uh, Tonya Cobra once per duel okay his effect is not a once per turn effect it's a once per duel effect so if you guys are playing multiple copies of this card in the deck I do not understand the reason why you guys are playing multiple copies of this card in the deck this card is a one of and that's the same reason why you play only one Zephyros the Elite in decks like Black Wings because you know you can only use this effect once per duel so uh, Darling Tonya searches out all your polymerization spawn and trap cards Dar so Darling to uh, Tonya Cobra basically searches out all your fusion spells and your polymerization from your deck to your hand. This includes refusion. This includes a fusion substitute, polymerization, instant fusion. This card gives access to all those cards right away, especially when it's tutored off Predator Plant uh, Orphis Scorpio. Uh, next off, you want to play Triple Lone Fire Blossom. Like, it's like you want to see this card in your opening hand as quickly as possible. And you're playing basically six copies of uh, Orphis Scorpio by playing Triple Lone Fire Blossom. Next off, you want to play Triple Predator Plant. Uh, Sundew. This card is really good as well because it is essentially a H.E. Gear Hound for Predator Plants where you're able to use this card as a f uh, fusion material with another monster on your side of the field, pre pre preferably a Predator Plant monster or a Dark monster on the field to basically fusion summon a uh, Chimera Flesia or Starving Venom Fusion Dragon directly from your extra deck which is really cool. And the really good thing about this effect is that you can also use uh, monsters on the field with Predator Plant Counter on it as well. So the way that you actually get Predator Plant Counters on your opponent's monster is off cards like uh, sp uh, Spinal uh, Dionea. Uh, this card is really, really good because when this card is normal summon or special summon, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls and place one Predator counter on it. And if it's, it is a level 2 or higher, it becomes a level 1 as, as long as it has a Predator counter on it. After damage calculation, if this card battles on a monster with an equal or lower level, you can special summon one Predator plant monster from your deck except for Predator plant uh, Spinal Dionea. Uh, if you attack, you basically get to freely special summon a Sundew directly from the deck. And uh, since that monster has a counter on it, uh, what you can do with Sundew is that you can activate Sundew's effect to fusion summon using uh, Sundew and the monster with a Predator co counter. Send it to the graveyard to bring out, uh, what is it called, uh, Chimera Flesia uh, from the deck, which is really, really awesome. And last but not least, you want to play the one Predator plant, uh, 
Saraxenient. Okay, so what this card does is that when your opponent declares a direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. After damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can destroy that opponent's monster. And if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard uh, by battle, or if this card leaves the field and sends it to the graveyard, you basically get to search a predator plant uh, card from your deck to your hand. So that means you can, you can search the Sun Yu, you can search uh, Spinal Downea, you can search the predator plant Orphis Scorpio. Basically, a reinforcement army of the deck. Now let's go off to the best supporting engine in the game and this is why uh you know this deck i believe is just very strong because of this one card combo i'm going to showcase you guys throughout the end of the video but you do play the zodiac engine so you play double rat you know double whip tail uh one ram and uh one uh thorough blade okay and the reason why you play the zodiac engine in uh this particular build is because I believe that predator plants aren't as strong like they're not really strong off by themselves and especially with, with the release of Orphis Scorpio you know Orphis Scorpio gives you access to MX Sable Invoker you know like it's nothing and you know supporting it uh, with cards like Chimera Flesia and I'll showcase you guys some amazing combo at throughout the end of the video and you guys are about to be amazed at how powerful this combo is and it has to do with ultra polymerization which is really really strong can you imagine uh, having two pops in one turn so you special summon a chimera flesia and you special summon a dryden you know chimera flesia will banish a monster and dryden will get the pop a monster so essentially having two pops in you know per turn is just absolutely insane i'll explain to you guys about this combo uh you know furthermore as i progress to the deck profile so you do play the zodiac engine next off for the hand traps i believe this is like one like you know, aside from Ash, I, I, I believe in some situations, Ghost Rogers can even actually be better than Ash, you know, especially against Diagram, for example. Uh, you know, this card actually pops the Diagram, while Ghost Ash is make sure the Diagram still stays there. And the last but not least, you want to play the one Maxi, because, you know, Maxi is broken. And, of course, uh, the one like a Black Sheep to search out your future substitute. For the spells, you want to play Triple Predator uh, Pruning. This card is really, really amazing. I don't know why people only play with double copies of this card. This card is the monster reborn for Predator Plants. Like, and it's not a once per turn effect. You can activate three copies of this card if you have this card, if you have triple copies of this card in your hand. And it's able to help you basically make, uh, you know, uh, your Spinal Down Nail really live and also your Sun Dude live as well by making Camera Ephesia and even Star Venom Fusion Dragon. And, you know, since you're playing the Zodiac Engine, Spinal Down Nail is level four. So you can activate this, bring that out, uh, overlay into your rank four play and basically continue your Zoo combo, which is really amazing. So Predator Pony is just really, really good. Uh, we're in uh, one Predator Ponyx, uh, only one copy of this card. And let's go off to your Fusion Engine, one Polymerization and double Fusion Substitute. I love this uh, ratio. Uh, best uh, two fusion subs and one polymerization fusion subs because it is searchable off uh, you know the black sheep and it also helps you draw four uh, with the Degasso Emerald and Zodiac combo so uh, you know the fusion sub combo is just really strong I don't know why Norden still exists uh, Norden should, should have been mad a long time ago uh, one refusion refusion is really good because once your Chimera Flesia leaves the field uh, during the standby phase you basically get to add this to your hand so that way uh, you have access to uh, your Chimera Flesia from your grave uh, from your graveyard. It's also really good because you can refusion uh, summon into a Norden from the graveyard and Norden can basically help you make your rank 4 plays. And the best card in the deck, the best spell card in this deck, and that's why I'm playing the Zoo Engine, is the Ultra Polymerization. This card is broken. Holy moly. And with the release of Orpheus Scorpio, Orpheus Scorpio makes this card insane. I don't know if you guys are reading this card or not, but Pedro has some light points. Pedro has one fusion monster from your extra deck. Using two monsters you control as fusion materials. Neither player can activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. So it's like a super poly. You cannot act, you, you cannot respond with anything. So its effect is going to go through. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your fusion monsters that was fusion summoned with this card's effect. But special summon all the fusion materials used for its fusion summon from the graveyard, but change their attack and defense to zero. Also, they have their effects negated. It doesn't matter if they have their effects negated, okay? This card is broken. You can banish this card, target your Cam Chimera Flesia, and bring back any two monsters that you use to summon that Chimera Flesia, and basically just continue your combo plays. And this card works really well with the Zoo combo, and I'll showcase you guys the combo throughout the end of the video. I'm going to save that for the end of the video, but just hold tight, guys. This card is broken. Uh, double instant fusion because it's searchable off the uh, Orphan Scorpio and or, uh, instant fusion rat combo helps you basically draw four which is really strong if you are playing a third fusion substitute you can basically draw six uh, one soul charge uh, and, and you know double not not double triple zodiac barrage and uh, double fire formation 10 key to search off your uh, zodiacs from your deck to your hand Alright guys, side deck is always up to personal preference, but this is what I have so far for the side deck. Just use my side deck as a guide to what you guys can play. So one mystical space typhoon and double cosmic cyclones. This is supposed to be triple cosmic cyclones, but I only have two copies. 
so yeah, one Imperial Order, a double on on any Nightmare. This card is really good against the Dragonic Diagram and hitting cards like Barrage is really good. Uh, double Dark Hole and Regeki. I love Board Wipes this format. It's just really really good because Zoos is still prevalent and uh, it's really good against Masterpiece because they're more they're more likely gonna have uh, you know Trap and Monster lineup and then you have the Kaiju Engine uh, to get rid of that and you know the Intro of the Kaiju Slumber to get rid of that as well. Uh, so that's pretty much it for your side deck. For your extra deck, you wanna play Double Chimera Flesia and uh, one Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. This is all you need in my personal opinion. You don't you guys can play Double Starving Venom Fusion Dragon if you guys want, but throughout testing. I only find myself going into one anyways, uh, but you know, double Chimera Fleece is definitely a must off. This card is able to banish a monster uh, that's on a field with a level less than or equal to this card's and banish it. When this card declares an attack involving this card and opponent's monster, yeah, your opponent monster loses a thousand attack and this card gains a thousand attack. So this card essentially becomes a 3500 beater on the board while your opponent loses, uh, the monster loses a thousand attack, which is very strong. And of course, once per turn during the next standby phase after this card was sent to the graveyard, you can add one Polymerization Spell card or Fusion Spell card from your deck to your hand. You can add Instafusion, Refusion, Polymerization, all those goodies uh, directly from your deck to your hand, which is really, really powerful. Uh, one Norden, you guys all know for obvious reasons. Uh, one Tornado Dragon, really strong. This can be any rank four you want. Gaga, Gaga Samurai, Abyss Dweller, anything you guys want. But Tornado Dragon is just really good because it's a walking MST uh, during either player's turn. It's amazing quick effect. Uh, one MX Saber Invoker, one, uh, you know, Zodiac Ch uh, Chicken uh, one Hammer Kong, uh, you know, Tiger Mortar, Dryden't, Double Dryden't, of course, Double Broadbow. And uh, last but not least, you want to play the double Daikusto Emerald for your draw engine. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the extra deck, guys. Let's go off to the one card combo that I was talking about. Alright guys, so let's go off to the one card combo that I was talking about. This combo is absolutely disgusting. I don't even know why Orpheus Scorpio was a card that's even made. Holy moly, guys. Let's go off with the combo real quick. All you guys need is access to Orpheus Scorpio. So that means that you can either open itself or open a Lone Fire Blossom. And you basically have this combo. And this is an amazing combo. You guys are just going to be amazed at how wonderful it is. And that's why I incorporated Zoo Engine with the Predator Plan Engine of how good this combo is. So normal Summon Orpheus Scorpio. Normal Summon Lone Fire Blossom. Activate Scorpio's effect to ditch any monster from your hand to the graveyard. To special summon a Darlingtonia Cobra directly from your deck. Once the Darlingtonia Cobra is uh, special summoned from the deck off a Predator Plant Monster's effect, you basically get to search any Polymerization uh, Spell card or a Fusion uh, Spell card from your deck to your hand. So you want to search the Ultra Polymerization, and this card is absolutely broken. Okay, so you want to activate uh, Ultra Polymerization's effect. Okay, your opponent cannot negate this. You pay 2,000 light points. It's a super polymerization. You po your opponent cannot respond to his activation. You send these two cards to the graveyard. to special summon a Predator Plant Chimera Flesia from your extra deck. Since this card is in your graveyard, what you can do now is you want to activate Ultra Polymerization secondary effect to banish itself from the graveyard to target Chimera Flesia on the field to special summon these two cards back uh, from your graveyard because it was used to fuge summon Chimera Flesia. And oh my goodness, guys, what do you guys see? Two level three monsters, and this gives you access to MX Saber Invoker. And to this day, I don't even know why MX Saber Invoker still exists. Okay, now you want to activate Invoker's uh, effect to special summon a uh, Zodiac Rep here directly from the deck. And here we go, guys. We have the Zoo Combo, and the Zoo Combo is just really good in this deck. And that's why I love incorporating the Zoo Engine, especially in Predator Plants, is because essentially you're gonna have a Degasso Emerald with a Trident on the field with a Chimera Flesia, essentially giving you a banish and a pop off uh, the Chimera Flesia and also the Trident, which is very, very powerful. For those of you who, who do not know the combo, I'm going to showcase you guys a combo anyways because not a lot of people know this combo, uh, surprisingly. So let me just showcase you guys for those of you who do not know the combo. So you special summon the Brad from the deck off Invoker's effect. Uh, you activate Tiger Mortar's uh, effect, special summon another rat directly from the deck. Okay, so this is your board right here. Cool. And now what you're going to do is you're going to overlay for Broadbow on top of Tiger Mortar. Activate Broadbow's effect to search. Uh, what is it called? The Fusion Substitute. Uh, not the Fusion Substitute. The Black Sheep. Okay. The Black Sheep. Draw from your deck. Send it to the Graveyard to search the Fusion Sub. Now you want to activate Fusion Substitute. Send Invoker and Broadbow to the Graveyard. Okay. Uh, to special summon a Norden. Norden, the best monster in the game. Why is he not banned? Activate Norden's effect. To special summon the Rap here from the Graveyard. Now you have these. This now you have this board right here. You overlay these two into that Gusto Emerald. 
Activate Emerald's effect, shuffle back three cards, draw one, do not shuffle back Norden. Now you want to activate Fusion Substitute's effect, banish his uh, assault to the graveyard, return Norden to the deck to draw another card. And then you basically uh, can go into cards like a Leica if you guys want to, or even just end off with a Dryden right here. So you essentially have eight, two draws, a Dryden and a Chimera Flesia, with four other cards in hand. No, six other cards in hand because you just drew two. And no, no, wait. So you have five. Uh, normal summon one so you'll have three other cards in your hand so you have five other cards in your hand and that's still very very strong so this is your board right here and what's really good thing about this board right now is our predator plant chimera flesia if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard during the next time by face you basically get to search cards like instant fusion or you, or you can search cards like uh you know refusion directly from your deck to your hand so that way that you can get access to chimera flesia once again so this card leaves the field you basically have follow-up plays within the following turn for cards like uh what's it called here let, let me see for cards like instant fusion okay the search off instant fusion off this card effective is sent from the field to the graveyard or if this card is sent to the graveyard uh you, you, or you get access to refusion it's just really really good like you know what i mean so you can activate refusion bring this card back activate instant fusion to make another rank 4 xc's play is so many good things that you can do or if you have cards like predator pruning uh what you can do is that you know for a follow-up you can uh some actually predator pr uh, pruning next turn bring back orphis scorpio that was in your graveyard okay and then activate orphis scorpio's effect uh to basically uh, ditch a card uh, from your hand uh, to the graveyard. The special element, let's say a uh, Sundew from your deck. And now you can activate Sundew's effect to, synchro, uh, to fusion summon with these two into another Chimera Flesia or even into a Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. So like, it's just insane on what you can do uh, with this deck. Like, there's so many options that you guys can do and the follow-up plays are just very, very strong for the fact that you can just resolve multiple copies of Orphis Scorpio, not just using the, uh, uh with Darling Tony, a Cobra. You can uh, you can use this card to spell something the Sundew, the Spinodionea, so many things that you can do with this card. It's just really amazing. Giving you access to Starving Venom and also Chimera Flesia to banish monsters on the field. And it also gains the attack effect where it, it, makes your opponent monster loses a thousand attack and makes this card gain a thousand attack during the battle phase which is very very strong so that's why i love this thing so much and also uh the ultra polymerization is just very powerful i i believe that this card might actually be meta uh, because of how powerful it is and especially when zoo engine is still around this card is still very very amazing and uh, yeah that's pretty much it this video guys this deck uh tended to be definitely more different than uh, the regular predator plant deck profile this incorporated the zoos and uh incorporated the ultra polymer it's just really really amazing hopefully you guys enjoyed this deck profile i try to make this deck as competitive as possible because you guys all know that predator plants uh you know alone it, it, they, they cannot compete with the meta but with the support of the zodiac engine they might actually be able to compete with boards like this so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching and this is sam from team sam sam signing out all right guys peace